It's time. All right, guys, I am here with... Sim Go. Sim, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. Okay, so this is your gym, Cobra Kai, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, where did the name come from? The name came from... Um, originally, we uh, um, separated from another school, okay. and then a, a few of us um, were about to do a tournament. It was Chris Brennan's tournament, Westside Submission Tournament, and we didn't have a name. So we came up with a couple different names. Uh, I think one of them was like, you know, they're, they're all uh, video game related. And then finally, you know, we were kind of rushed into putting a name. So uh, one of the guys thought about just Cobra Kai, you know, from Karate Kid, there obviously, you know, okay. because uh, he said we were like the bad guys uh, from, from, uh, from the movie. You but know? you're not a bad I, guy. I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's just kind of funny. I don't know what made them think about Cobra Kai, you know. Do you feel now that when people come here, they expect you to be yelling at them and uh, telling them to do, you know, sweeping of the legs, if one would? Yeah, it's kind of funny because um, the name almost sounds too traditional, you know. Um, people think it's a karate, people always think it's a karate school. You know? and, I, and then, of course, a lot of the younger kids now, they never even seen the movie or they've seen Karate Kid but they've never seen the old version seen the that's movie. what's wrong with the youth yeah exactly do you uh, I, I think naturally you guys should be hosting screenings of the Karate Kid if you're not already yeah it's funny because they say I look like the bad guy in the new movie no yeah. that's you, you so mean I could, I could see that you know um, there's a picture of me <laughs> photoshopped next to the guy oh man I, I don't see it. I'll let you know that right now. I, th I think you're, you're a nice guy. Um, so tell us, uh, today you had uh, Rafael Lovato Jr., one of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners, not just in America, but just period. Uh, how did you get him to come on out this way? Well, I've known Rafael since, I think, blue or purple for a while now. I know, I've known him since 04, and he helped my instructor, Mark Lehman, train for the Huron Gracie match. Um, and he lived here for, man, I want to say, three months or so. Yeah. So I got to know him pretty well. And then occasionally he would come down if there's a tournament here. And he would stay with Mark. And um, he would host, uh, he hosted a few seminars when Mark was still here. And I just wanted to kind of keep the thing going. You know, every, we, we all, everyone loves having him out here. So That's we thought it would be great. Now, what did you feel about today's seminar? Were you, were you happy? Good turnout? Yes, yes. I was happy with the turnout. I was happy with the techniques. Um, for me, I mean, these are some of the things that I haven't even seen before. So obviously I can't be, you know, I haven't taught it to my guys yet. Sure. So I think it just makes everyone better. This is what I appreciate about uh, seeing a seminar and, and seeing you as an instructor to other people. Mm -hmm. You asking those specific questions that maybe students may not understand yet. Yes. Or that they, they see it as they're happening and you're kind of narrating it to them. So there's a nice rapport that you have with Rafael. Yeah, and I think maybe some of them are a little bit too shy to ask a question. Maybe they feel like it, they ask a certain kind of question. They think it's it maybe, a, yeah, it sounds dumb. Or um, they don't fully grasp the technique yet, so they don't know what could possibly happen as they're going through the move. Tell me a little bit about your gym. Uh, what do you guys do? What it's a little... Say something that's maybe a little unique that you guys do that maybe somebody else doesn't. Well, I mean, I th the gym is just such a, has such a family atmosphere, you know. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure that this is the oldest uh, gym out here in Vegas. Really? Or if not, one of the oldest gyms out here in Vegas. Because we've been open since 03. So I would say the environment's a really good environment because, you know, I feel like I grew up around everybody here. Yeah. I started training when I was you know, 15 years old, and I've known some of these guys for, for a really long time. Um, a bunch of them were at my wedding a couple of months back. So, Congrats. Oh, thank you, thank you. So it, it's, it's, uh, the, it's, it really does, you know, you, you always hear people say, oh, it's a family atmosphere, but everyone here has known each other for a while. We have um, dads here that train, and their, their kids train here as well. That's cool. Yeah. Do you have them settle family disputes here or something, or no. is that something that you guys offer? Yeah. If not, you should. Well, what's weird is there's times where you, you have to separate brothers from training with each other, you know, and they start to get into it, you know, especially in the kids' class, too. Yeah. That's got to be a little weird, but, yeah. you know, I, I think the, the nice thing I picked up today, not just about your gym, uh, is that 
everybody who I saw here was was super welcoming. And uh, anybody who I asked to film me on the technique as I was filming stuff and oh, working yeah. around, everybody was super, super nice. So I, I do think, despite the name Cobra Kai and yeah. walking in and being like, all right, who's coming after me? Yeah. Who's going to be the kid that sucker punches me? Yeah, uh, you know. It's just, it's such a cool thing to see for you guys. And I think you should take pride in that. Yeah, I think I'm very fortunate that, um, I don't know, it's just like the, the, the environment or the culture or the guys that are just here. Um, they're just, ne they're just. I think we just kind of draw in some friendlier guys. It's not like something that I always have to tell them. Oh, you, ha you guys have to be nice to the visitors. It, it just sort of happens that way. So, uh, what can people look forward uh, to? You know, do you have uh, certain competitors that maybe you're fighting or, or getting out there in the community that you, you think are we should have an eye on? Because we're always trying to find new talent, and we're always oh. trying to, to keep an eye on who's going to be the next big thing. So who should we be keeping an eye on? Yeah, there's uh, we have Shane Shapiro here. If you, you guys probably heard him in the background hitting mitts. He's fighting next week on Thursday at Tough Enough. Awesome. So it's a really big amateur show here in town. Um, you know, Ronda Rousey, Chris Holdsworth, Ryan Couture, they all fought for Tough Enough. So it's, a, it's kind of a... It's, I would say it's a pretty high-level amateur show. It seems like it's one of those next steps yeah. uh, to it. Like the last event they had, it was the Thomas and Max Center. It was, they had, there were 14,000 people there. You know? So it's a big event. So he's fighting next week on Thursday um, at the Texas Station. Uh, and then we have Ian Luan. He fought, I think it was about three weeks ago. He won the belt at 145. So nice. He's going to be doing one more amateur fight and then turning pro. Well, uh, where can people get in contact with you if they want to come train here? Uh, how can people find this place? Tell them. Tell America. Yes, uh, so just go to ckjj.com. Uh, if you go under contacts, uh, my email is up there. You could email, you get in touch with some of the other instructors that say you're interested in maybe doing a boxing lesson, strength and conditioning lesson, or anything like that. It's, awesome. all, it's all on the website. Well, uh, you know, Sim, I want to thank you for being so kind to all of us, you know, who were guests who did come out today. Uh, on behalf of everybody here, just thank you so much for hosting this. Oh, it was a blast welcome. to be here, my man. All right. All right. You guys, uh, keep it locked here for more information, all the latest in jiu-jitsu and MMA here at VerbalTapCast.com.